बिसमीम डियर स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम टू ऑफिस डॉट कॉम डॉट पी के दिस इज़ योर केमिस्ट्री क्लास एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एल्गीस ऑलरेडी प्रीवियसली वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन द प्रेपरेशन एंड द फिज़िकल प्रॉपर्टीज़ ऑफ एल्गीस एंड वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड द रीज़न वाई एल्गीस आर मोर रिएक्टिव एज़ कम्पेयर टू एल्गीस सो टुडे वी आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एंड वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट द रिएक्शन ऑफ एल्गीस सो फर्स्ट class of reactions that will be discussed are addition reactions in which any atom is added by breaking of the pi bond and hence the bonds will be available for further reaction so any other atom like hydrogen or halogen etc they can be easily added to alkenes so the first reaction that we are going to discuss is hydrogenation you know what is hydrogenation it is addition of hydrogen basically it is a process in which a molecule of hydrogen is added to an alkene in the presence of a catalyst a catalyst will also take part and the pressure will be moderate okay have you noticed i always make points of the things from the paragraph this will make it easier to learn so it is a study tip from my side that always make the points out of the long paragraphs it will help you memorize them more effectively so the pressure of the reaction will be moderate up to 1 to 5 atm so as a result we will get a saturated hydrocarbon means we will add hydrogen to unsaturated hydrocarbon and as a result we will obtain a saturated hydrocarbon now as a catalyst is involved in the reaction so this is also known as catalytic hydrogenation now this reaction is highly exothermic and a large amount of heat is evolved when one molecule of an alkene is hydrogenated and this heat is known as heat of hydrogenation the reaction is exothermic and when one molecule of alkene is hydrogenated the heat given out is known as heat of hydrogenation which is actually heat evolved during hydrogenation of one molecule of alkene so the heat of hydrogenation of most of the alkenes is about 120 kJ per mole for every double bond mean when you break one double bond this amount of heat is evolved the catalyst that are mostly used involve platinum or white gold palladium and nickel now a very important alloy of nickel and aluminum it is treated with caustic soda mostly this is known as rene nickel which is basically now this topic of rene nickel is important for short questions now rene nickel is basically when we treat alloy of 
nickel and aluminium alloy is basically mixture of two or more metals so when we treat an alloy of nickel and aluminium with caustic soda now what is caustic soda it is sodium hydroxide so when we treat nickel alloy according to this equation nickel aluminium alloy with caustic soda in the presence of water the nickel will be given out sodium combines with aluminium and a 3 by 2 molecule of hydrogen is evolved now this nickel which is prepared in this way is known as rene nickel this is the rene nickel which is formed as a result of treating this alloy with caustic soda now we will use this nickel as catalyst for hydrogenation of alkenes now most alkenes they are hydrogenated over this rene nickel at about 100 degree centigrade and a pressure of 3 atm now what happens is that it will be hydrogenated and unsaturation will be converted to saturation let me write the equations for you this is 3 methyl we will start counting from here i told you earlier we will start counting from here this is 3 methyl butene 3 methyl 1 butene and you are adding hydrogen in it in the presence of the nickel we prepared as rene nickel now the product will be hydrogen will be added to each of the bond so the product will be a 5 carbon alkane or isopentane in another reaction we will take benzene now benzene is another aromatic hydrocarbon we add hydrogen in the presence of rene nickel and all the double bonds will be saturated and this will become now benzene will become cyclohexane so this catalytic what is the importance of this catalytic hydrogenation this is important in the laboratory as well as in industry and it is used in the preparation of vegetable ghee from vegetable oil and it is also a synthetic method in the laboratory as well as an analytical tool as the reaction is generally quantitative it is a quantitative reaction so it is used for analysis so this is all about the hydrogenation the first reaction of alkenes this is all about hydrogenation in the next video we will talk about the halogenation the addition of halogen atom to alkenes till then take care of yourself keep studying and keep watching office.com.pk allah hafiz